Hi everyone, so today I am going to show you the uh, Seagate Wireless Plus drive. Okay, this drive it comes with one terabyte of uh, capacity so you can store many many files that you like into this device. Okay, so today we are going to have a walkthrough. Okay, and uh, this drive is actually built in with Wi Fi, built in with battery. The battery can last for you 10 hours for streaming wirelessly. Okay, and the Wi-Fi signal in transmit within 800 square feet. So let's say upstairs, downstairs, um, kitchen, bathroom, no problem. Okay, and at the same time, you can have eight Wi-Fi devices to connect here. Like maybe uh, your smartphone, tablets, PC or laptop, whatever Wi-Fi device. Okay, then you can connect to this fellow already. Because last time we used like Bluetooth, Bluetooth. So right now, we're using Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi. Okay, and this is what comes in the box together. Obviously, this is wall plug. Wall, wall charging and this is the USB charging cable okay and uh, just plug this thing in here and the other end here so you will be charging this yeah and uh, by using the wall plug charging right it have how to say you will be using three hours to do one full charge by using wall plug and let's say if you don't have this wall plug to you know with you to carry around you can just plug the thing out because this, this is the uh, USB port so you can charge it with your PC or laptop as well but then by using USB port charging because it have lower rate of you know uh, the voltage so it, ta it takes uh, 9 hours to do one full charge okay by using the USB port on your PC or laptop okay so yeah and this fella it enables you to transfer wirelessly but note that transferring wirelessly it takes time so it's only 150 megabits per second so if you're transferring a large file it's more advisable to use this uh, USB 3 interface connector which is uh, in the box together as well so just take this part out okay and just slot this thing in and it will be your USB drive uh, external hard disk again okay so because this thing is a USB 3 Okay, it will have 5 gig per second transferring rate compared to the 150 megabits per second transferring wirelessly. Okay, so yeah, this is how it works for all the cables that is in the box. Okay, so I am going to guide you on how to use this device on your Wi Fi tablets. Wi Fi device. Okay, so right now I'm using my uh, tablet to show you. So this is what you do. Yeah, just go to your setting. Same like how you connect to your own uh, Wi Fi at your house, just that you are connecting to this Seagate wireless right now. So go to your Wi Fi and then search for the Seagate wireless, okay? Because previously I was connected, so it have my history already. So you can see Seagate wireless is uh, connected with my uh, tablet, okay? So there are two ways for you to stream whatever data that I stored inside. So first, you can use your web browser. If you are using iOS device, you can use your Safari. If you are using Android, so maybe you can use your uh, internet or maybe you can use your Chrome. So in my case, my web browser is Chrome. So yeah, I just tap on Chrome and key in this uh, IP address, which is 172.25.0.1. This is the fixed IP address. Okay, so I'll just press on go. So yeah, I am streaming directly right now. So let's say if I wanted to play a movie, uh, let's say this animal or the lion. Yeah, just press on the play. Yep, and so you can see we are streaming right now. Just let me turn on the volume a bit so you can know what's going on. Okay, so you can do this okay so yeah you're playing the movie right now and note that one thing if you're using the iOS device like maybe iPad or iPad mini or whatsoever and because many people ask me uh, can I play RMVB file on my iPad can I play uh, like maybe other file formats on my iPad okay this thing is actually depending on your tablet on your Wi-Fi device whether it can stream whatever files or not because for whatever files that you wanted to store the file format like maybe RMVB, uh, M4, M4V or MPEG4 or MOV whatsoever you can store here but it depends on your Wi-Fi device whether it plays the thing plays the file format or not 
Okay, so for the iOS device, the supported file movie, the file format, is actually M4V, MP4, MOV, and AVI. So if you are having RMVB file and if you wanted to pair it with your uh, iOS device, you are advisable, you are advised to convert the file into the file format that I mentioned just now. Just, you know, for, for you to play the file. Okay, so as in for Android devices, it plays uh, major AD files. Okay, alright. So, the first way to stream is actually the web browser. Remember, uh, you can use your Chrome internet or maybe Safari. Okay, and the second way is actually the uh, using the free app, okay, which you can download on the uh, Google Play Store or maybe App Store. Okay, so the app is uh, free. The app name is uh, Seagate Media. Okay. Just click it in and you'll see the screen will pop up. It's actually another layout for you to stream. Yeah, so let's say I wanted to play the movie. I can I can show you, but then uh, yeah, it will, we will be just repeating the thing. So yeah, right now I'll guide you on how to do the upload and download. Okay, which is meaning to say from Samsung to the Seagate Wireless Plus. So how do I do that? So notice the drop down box here so I just click on this so it will say the uh, on my GT N5100 which is on my device I just click in so because I need to stream whatever files that I wanted to transfer here so let's see if I wanted to transfer a uh, photo which is I store it in here yeah this folder so this are all the files that I want to transfer here so what I need to do to select okay I just press on the tick here and Select on whatever files that I wanted to move here or copy here and after selecting just press press on this uh, upload sign and yeah it's going here already okay how can I show you okay so let me show you on this just utilize this drop down box here okay so let's say photos so remember the ABCD file just now that I transferred um, this is actually on the drive right now yeah as you can see this is A and uh, this is B and this is C and D yeah there you go so this is how you do and for downloading right for downloading you need to go to your web browser okay which is pressed on the Chrome like just now and uh, just go to let's say if I wanted to download a photo from Seagate Wireless to the Samsung this is what I need to do just press on this drop down box again and press on the folder that I wish to go just now which is photos so let's say if I wanted to download some sample files so I just press on this little icon here the arrow icon okay and I select whatever files that I want this for let's say so uh, this here we have this uh, pointing down icon which is the download sign I just press it in yeah so allow so right now my device my Wi-Fi device my tablet is right now downloading yeah so as you can see all the files are here gallery just once yeah, so these are the files that I downloaded just now from Seagate Wireless Plus to my Samsung tablet okay so I guess this uh, sums up on how to use the Seagate Wireless Plus so for whatever questions you may ask the fella that show you this video alright and uh, oh yeah and there's another thing that you you may need to know Yes, by because every Wi-Fi device only have one Wi-Fi slot. You may be thinking, um, if I am connected to this Seagate Wireless Plus, how do I go online? Like maybe Facebook, Yahoo, Google, or whatsoever. No worries. This is what you need to do. Go to the interface, and you will see. Oh God, this one. Okay, you will see this Wi-Fi, the 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 mini Wi-Fi icon here. Just click here and it will scan whatever Wi-Fi networks is available around you and you just simply click on the uh, whatsoever Wi-Fi that you have, have at your house so you can be connected to your Facebook, to your Google, to your Yahoo yeah so no problem okay and 
yeah, no worries about on how to go online or whatsoever. So it's all being covered. Yeah. So this this uh, actually will sums up the uh, tutorial for today on how to use the Seagate Wireless Plus. So thank you very much.